I'm Kelly Roberts and I somehow <laughs> ended up a runner. <laughs> Sometimes I joke that I'm in purgatory <laughs> and I like may or may not have murdered in my past life since now I have to run marathons. <laughs> There's something incredible about anyone working their tits off to do something that feels impossible. I think anything you do, watch people doing that and you will walk away being like, damn, what am I doing with my life? I said, I will never be able to take myself seriously enough to qualify for Boston, that's impossible. And I just felt so shitty for saying that about myself and I could not shake it. And then I saw Beyonce's Lemonade and was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm like, I'm not kidding. My goal is to qualify for the Boston Marathon. It used to be three hours and 35 minutes. When I first started chasing this effing goal, it was 3.35. But then so many people run so goddamn fast that now it's 3.30. Uh, and my goal, my PR right now is 3.42. So that's 12 minutes. I think when we care about something a lot or when we don't have ignorance on our side, to how hard it's going to be. I think sometimes that's the hardest like thing to commit to and chase. So for me, Boston, like I knew how hard it was going to be because running already felt insurmountable and running marathons already was something that I was like, I cannot believe I do this and I cannot believe I can run a marathon and survive it. And chasing that, that BQ for the first time like really did force me to get honest with myself in a way that I think I'd never been before and it really forced me to fail and fail in front of a big audience. And then it showed me like, it's okay to fail. You have to fail when you're chasing something huge. You will not do it the first time because if you do like that, that goal is not big enough. So this time around, I have this plan that I really want to execute, but I want to do it for me. It's very personal and I'm very excited to do it and like really just see what happens instead of saying, if I don't do this thing, I'm a failure, which is really exciting and fucking scary. <laughs> I think running really gave me purpose because it forced me to do something that I'm very bad at and really like acknowledge the fact that just because something is going to be twice as hard for you, you don't know where to start. You don't know how to do it. You don't feel like you have the tools you need to make it happen. You have to ask for help. Those aren't good enough reasons not to chase impossible or let yourself care. I, I think I really tried to like make myself not care. I, th I think I tried everything <laughs> to soften the blow of failure because I mean, it, it taught me how important it is to fail and not be afraid of it and to fail wholeheartedly and then fail better.